Oops. Whoa. That is the horned adder. Incredibly well camouflaged. But this is not the animal I'm looking for today. I'm actually going to wait for the sun to go down and start looking for three different species of geckos. The first one lives right here on these gravel plains. It's called the giant ground gecko. And then I'm going to move down there where there's a dry riverbed looking for a gecko that actually barks. And then we're going to get towards the sand dunes looking for the web footed gecko. It's actually translucent. We're going to put this guy down. Woo! The horned adder, yes. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! Hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. That's it, the sun has gone down. Now's time to start searching for the first gecko of the evening. The largest gecko in the Namo Desert, the giant ground gecko. The giant ground gecko is the dominant species living on these flat gravel plains. During the day, they are hidden in shallow burrows. At night, they emerge to the surface to hunt. Woo! Giant ground gecko. The biggest gecko out here in the Namib. You are a big one, aren't you? You going that way, are you? Oh! You're gonna go on my hand, mate? Oh! Oh! Wow. They've got really chunky heads. Look at the size of that head. And I need that in order to crunch through their insects, that exoskeleton. So it's probably got one of the strongest bite forces of geckos out here in Southern Africa. There's actually reports that this gecko can even eat other lizards and snakes. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them. We've got two. Just over there. So we've got our, our first giant ground gecko. There's another one over here in that typical stance. Hello, mate. But I'm going to put you next to the other one so we can see two next to each other. Oh, he's running. Two giant ground geckos. But these geckos, they've got an extremely good sense of hearing as well as eyesight. So they will scurry away if there's any sense of a potential predator. Or, if you're like me, they might actually just stay still and think, you've definitely not seen me. Look at the way they're staying still, just completely stiff. <laughs> it's just bizarre. They've just got these amazing stance. There's no other gecko that I can think of that just almost looks like a statue. Because they can't even blink, they're just completely there, like as if they're frozen in time. The giant ground gecko, two of them at once. Yes, we're gonna head down that way to the dry riverbed where we're looking for our second species of the evening, the barking gecko, which we'll be able to hear before we actually get to see him. Let's go. Just arrived at this dry riverbed area. And this, already I know I'm in the right spot because I can hear kick, 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 kick. It's not a good impression, but there is the sound of the barking gecko. Could you hear that? Just listen. Tick, 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 tick. There, there's one literally just there. There's actually one that's just gone there. They're all around me and they make that sound in order to attract the females to them. There's literally just one right behind us right now or in front of me. They are really, really cool looking species too. Quite chunky heads. Not as big as the giant snake. So right here, we've got brown owl snake. Non-venomous, but they, they do bite. They can be quite grumpy, so I'm gonna have to be quite careful the way I pick this one up. Because if you see he's been injured. There you go. The brown owl snake, woo! These are nocturnal snakes. They come out at night, and they're very, very common actually across the whole of Southern Africa. But it's because they're extremely, extremely good hunters and they eat pretty much anything they can get their, their mouths around, including geckos. And that's why, that's why they're called house snakes, because they ha tend to uh, find themselves near where houses are and they eat the rodents around your house. There's actually one of these snakes that you actually want around you. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna let this one go. Brown house snake. You can go off and find a barking gecko. I'll do exactly the same thing. Even though the barking geckos are everywhere around here, 
Getting close isn't so easy. The closer you get, they dart straight back down their burrows, but not all the time. Is that a barking gecko? Yeah, it is. Wow! Yes! I can't believe this. Oh, there's another one! Woo! Coming out of their burrows. That is incredible. I didn't actually expect I would see even one out of their burrows. But here you are. There's a little burrow there, another burrow there. This one here on my left is a male who's got a much brighter coloration in order to attract the female. Now the males, they're barking. It's only the males that actually bark and they're trying to attract the females along to them. And so all of these little chirps are only from, from the male and the females don't, they're just very quiet and they actually have to roam along and find their suitor inside the burrow. So it's probably the mating season right now. We've got both a male and a female out of their burrows. Well, there you go, two barking geckos. We've got two giant ground geckos. Let's head off to the dunes and see if we can find our final and most amazing species of the night, the web-footed gecko. Let's let these ones go. Happy hunting. Right, we've made it. This is it. This is the sand dunes. You can see how that has changed. Now we're in the really soft sand. And this is the habitat for our final species of gecko for tonight. It's a web-footed gecko. He loves sitting amongst these dollar bushes in ambush for any insects that are coming along. Let's see if we can find the web-footed gecko. Just like the other two geckos, the web-footed gecko is hidden during the day down their burrows. And at night, the geckos emerge fully but don't stray too far away from safety. Oh, gerbil. Taking refuge in this bush really is quite spiky, so it'd be a good little place to be hiding. Good luck with your rest of your evening, little gerbils. Ah, yes, web-footed gecko. This is exactly what we're after. They are absolutely, oh, he's going, he's off, he's off. Ah, oh, he's just gone down his burrow. Ugh. That's where they stay during the day. And obviously when a predator comes along, they bolt down there too. Let's keep looking, see if we can get a close up view of the web-footed gecko. Oh, yes, okay, wow! Web-footed gecko, that's a big one. Okay, beautiful animal, love it. He's, he's darting along this sand quickly. You are amazing, look at you. I reckon it's the coolest looking gecko in the world. They're completely translucent. You can basically see through this gecko. He's now starting to calm down, he's probably realizing that we are no threat. Oh, gonna gently pick up the web-footed gecko so we can have a close look. You can see how they're pretty much see-through. And if you look, oh, look above of their body, you can see the vertebrae even coming through and even the organs. There's a see-through lizard and those are those amazing feet or yeah web-footed gecko that's why he's got his name and you can see how they're spreading out on my hand there and use those webs to be able to stand on this really soft um, sand and also to be able to dig like a spade burrow through that sand it's almost like a ghost I, I, if i was to rename this lizard i'd call him the ghost lizard living out here on the dunes it's kind of a whip, little bit eerie the fact that you've got a see-through ghost-like lizard just out here. Now, there's one super excellent secret about these guys, which I just want to show you. A bit like scorpions, they glow in the dark. And I've never seen it myself, but I brought my UV torch and hopefully we can see him just glow up with all the lights off. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Wow, there you go. 
The web-footed gecko really does glow in the dark. Look at that, you can see every bit of the features. The round eyes, that yellow eyes now is turning just bright white. And that belly absolutely just, just glows. That is amazing. There's just two types of animals now that I know of that actually glows in the dark. The scorpions and now this one, the web-footed gecko. What an incredible character you are. What I'm going to call the ghost of the Namib. Yes. Let's put him back. The three gecko challenge, mission complete. I hope you enjoyed seeing totally different species living side by side from each other. From the gravel plains to the dry riverbed, right along to the soft sand dunes. Yes. <laughs>